Does it protect his speech or jury tampering? Two men were recently arrested outside the Denver courthouse for handing out flyers to jurors, while other activists looking to do the same are now filing a lawsuit. CBS Force Karen Morfitt at that courthouse tonight. Karen, they say they have a right to do this. Exactly, Jim, and they argue that this plaza is a public space, often the site for protests. The issue will really come down to these flyers, what's in them and who they were handing them to. In early August, Denver police arrested Eric Brandt and Mark Ian Chelly for handing out information about jury nullification just outside the Denver courthouse. Jury nullification is when a juror believes a defendant is guilty of a crime but disagrees with the law and returns a not guilty verdict instead. So my clients were passing out literature explaining all that to passers-by in the plaza at the Lindsay Flanagan Courthouse. David Lane is representing the two men who are now each charged with seven counts of jury tampering. He's also the attorney for three other activists filing a lawsuit against the city, claiming the threat of arrest is unconstitutional. It's our contention that this is free speech. This is not jury tampering. They weren't seeking a result on any particular case. They weren't seeking to influence jurors. In a statement, the Denver DA's office says the allegations are very narrow and allege that the defendants were, with intent, trying to influence a juror's opinion, decision, or vote when they specifically identified jury pool members and gave them jury nullification literature as they were entering the courthouse. Now, it will be left up to a judge and quite possibly a jury to decide what's allowed. Now, it's also Lane's belief that even if they were handing those flyers to potential jurors, that they have the right to do so. They will be in federal court on Friday, filing an injunction attempting to keep DPD from arresting those individuals. We're live in Denver tonight. Karen Morfitt, CBS 4 News. Thank you, Karen.